Hey guys, welcome back to another AMG customer support video. Today I'm actually going to be covering one of, uh, you can say, the main games and uh, the majority of people are asking about, which is uh, Diablo 3. Diablo 3, as you do know, has a huge, huge lag issues. So today I'm literally going to cover everything you do need to know in terms of the Diablo 3 lag issue and how you can possibly get to fix it or at least come down to a sort of, you can say, solution to what the problem is. Well, anyways, let's get started. I'm going to start off with the basics. The first thing you should know is, of course, to meet the minimum system requirements, which are going to be jotted down on the actual video, which you're going to see somewhere around here. And if you do meet the minimum system requirements, keep in mind uh, that uh, even if you do meet the system requirements, uh, that any graphic settings, I do believe, from medium to high will still lag your game one way or another. This game uh, really does require quite a bit of power. So if you do meet the system requirements, so don't expect that the game will be running smoothly. It's still going to lag. But uh, that probability is if you don't have the, you can say, above uh, the minimum system requirements, uh, that is a uh, hardware uh, issue in uh, terms of your actual system and your system is going to lie because you just don't have the necessary power to do that. The easiest way is of course to drop down your graphics. So this is the first thing you should obviously know before you even start the games. At least try to meet the minimum system requirements, preferably have a little bit more juice for your actual PC or laptop. Second thing is uh, point number two. You should got You have to be sure that you don't have any spyware or viruses on your computer. What good is a phone call if you're unable to speak? Now, of course, you can install, there's like a million softwares out there that tell you they can scan all the bots, they can scan all the spyware, they can scan all the viruses, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the quickest way, what I did is uh, very simple, back up all your stuff, format your actual system, and reinstall, make a clean copy. And even better, if you do have a backed up image of your driver, then just restore a backed up image of your driver, that'll cut time substantially quicker. So uh, get this done if you are having this issue, and hopefully this might also solve your actual Diablo three problems. Point three is make sure your Windows update isn't running or any other softwares that use up your internet connection as uTorrents, antivirus or any other software. All these programs do use up your internet bandwidth and may cause your game latency to go up or you know be higher than normal. I would say the latency in Diablo 3 should be anywhere between 20 to 180. Usually any higher than that will cause the game to start to lag a bit. You'll notice that the monsters do show up and pop up in different locations or just warp into different locations as you're moving around. Now on the launch of Diablo uh, my actual latency was over 700, but as the servers uh, finally did stabilize and of course they optimized them, the latencies have been dramatic dramatically decreased. Mine is around 180, 150, you know, 130. You know, it really depends. So this is uh, the third point that you should keep in mind in terms of Diablo. The fourth point is uh, brings me, of course, uh, to uh, one of the main important points is you got to have a good internet connection, of course. I would recommend you should have at least a 2.5 megabit broadband connection. Uh, this should be pretty much sufficient to play Diablo. You can obviously Google internet uh, speed test and uh, see how fast your connection is. Uh, this is a really, really simple. Just to check out your actual internet speed and make sure you have at least a 2.5 megabit broadband connection to your internet. If you're going to have a dial-up, then uh, don't be frustrated. The dial-up's a dial-up and hell, I don't even know if some of you are still playing this on dial-up. The fifth issue is that you should be looking at is your video card driver, if it's up to date. The link in the description will uh, literally list out all the graphics cards, uh, that being from low-end all the way to the high-end, and which one actually is supported by Diablo. So make sure your driver is up to date. Older NVIDIA drivers did have some lag issues, so make sure they're up to date. And uh, usually the NVIDIA drivers, they do have that auto-update feature, so they should literally pop up in case uh, that if there is any new driver. So in case you did update your driver and then you realize that it starts to lag after you updated your uh, graphics driver, try to roll back. Sometimes the new drivers that have just been recently released do have some bugs and glitches, so they will actually cause some games to start lagging and the performance of the system might go down. So I wouldn't recommend you update directly to the latest driver in case it does start to lag. If you do update, always roll back. You can say one version below and uh, see how it is then. Now, another thing I would recommend you to do in case you are running in video, you're going to go to your control panel, as you see here, and then you're going to click, of course, the global settings, and you're going to see power management mode. It's adaptive. Uh, try to select, change this to prefer maximum performance and click apply. You know, this also might actually help in uh, terms of stopping Diablo from lagging. And you click apply, and then, of course, you close it as well. 
6 heat or CP temperature this is what I found to be the main issue in terms of playing Diablo download a program called a real temp as always links in the description below or any other program that you would like to use in terms of monitoring your temperature now if you're playing on a laptop do not put it on your lap or of course a blanket make sure you got at least five centimeters of space around under and all around the actual laptop so the air can circulate and the actual computer or the desktop or laptop can breathe now when you run the real temp program and start to monitor your CPU temperature put Diablo into Windows mode that way you can actually see the real temp window so you can open up the real temp window place it over the actual Diablo game like that you can actually see the temperature For laptops the temps should be anywhere around 70 to 80 degrees maybe even 88 you know sometimes it might spike up to 90 92 just for a few seconds when you are monitoring it the coolest thing to do is in real temp you can actually let it log into an Excel file and you can obviously take a look through it after you're done playing like around 20 to 30 40 minutes so you can see exactly how the temps are or you can see the maximum temp as it does give the maximum temp it ever reached but if some uh, for uh, some odd reason your actual temps are going very high for your laptop that meaning 95 to 100 degrees or even above then you got a problem uh, for uh, desktops temps are much lower anywhere from 30 degrees to 50 degrees now uh, depending if uh, how you actually if you have modded PC so obviously uh, it's uh, depending on how effective your cooling systems are in uh, the actual modded PC that you have but usually desktops are around 30 to 50 maybe even 55 you know but it really depends on how you set up your actual desktop you know laptops are substantially higher between 70 to 80 you know around 76 75 usually laptops are you know usually uh, circ circling around that mark the best way to find out you know what temp your actual computer or the desktop should be around is uh, google it you know google is your friend find out what your average temps should be on at the maximum load meaning when your pc or uh, laptop is used to the fullest and compare it to the actual temperature that it should be to so if it's close uh, then you're fine if it's above then you got a problem i actually found out that my laptop was defected when i started it my temps would hit around 104 degrees you know just within 10 15 minutes without running any games whatsoever so a good thing to do is to start up your system wait like 15 minutes and see if anything like that would happen like this you could cross this off the list and thanks god for warranty if you do realize that your temps are uh, going high don't freak out it doesn't mean you have a defect directly of course if the temps are literally skyrocket like in my case they did they went substantially higher like unnormally high then uh, yes uh, the probability of a defect being there is high but it doesn't mean that it's o only a defect it could be something else the main cause of overheating for PCs and laptops is usually dust you know some something as stupid as that actually uh, laptops do tend to gather up dust more desktops is substantially I don't know less dust gathers in uh, the actual ventilators and uh, the fans so the best solution of course is to buy a can of compressed air you have that little thin stick that you stick onto it which actually gives you a perfect you can say compressed uh, you can say nozzle that you can stick into your actual ventilation stick it in the ventilation and blow away if you got a desktop then all you got to do is open it up look at uh, the CPU fan and clean that up and of course clean up all uh, the dust uh, that you can find now you will notice chunks of dust will start to fly out when you start to spray with the can into your actual desktop you know uh, I mean with the laptop and the desktop you just clean it up normally as it's very easy accessible but with the laptop when you actually stick it in the ventilations at the bottom usually of the laptop you will find small little holes see where the actual fan supposed to be over your CPU try to get the actual air somewhere close to it and spray it or spray it from the other side just make sure it's focused on that location of where the fan CPU fan supposed to be where the fan supposed to be you usually hear it when the laptop switches on you hear it turns up and you do normally hear it churning if you have a gaming laptop like I do you have obviously an option to speed up the fan speed and of course you hear where the damn fan is so in accordance to that you know where to stick the actual nozzle of that can spray now do not go to your local garage and ask them to actually uh, spray your laptop as they do have of course a massive compressor and uh, they obviously have these air guns that they can use unfortunately in uh, the garage uh, compressed air with their air guns if you don't feel like buying a, a spray can is uh, there is a chance of actual condensation in the compressor so uh, when they do spray out with either they have a tube or they have a gun attached to the tube and they spray out the compressed air there is a small percent chance that some of the condensed air in the compressor have has condensed into a little droplets of water so there's a small percent chance that that air bursting out of the gun uh, may come up with a droplet or two of water so obviously you don't want that hitting your 
computer so I wouldn't recommend you go down to your local garage and ask them to spray your laptop for you with compressed air that's not gonna do it preferably dry air just buy a can spray you know compressed air can already like that you sure is just air coming out of it and there's no actual any amounts of moisture or water in that actual air coming out of the can I would as well not recommend you to use your vacuum cleaner it may cause a static even though I tried it myself and I just realized that it's just not strong enough to rip the dust off its place especially since you have maybe not done this to your laptop for six seven months the dust literally gathers into a thick layer and even a strong vacuum cleaner won't suck that out you need something to blow at it and rip the dust out and blow it out of your actual laptop so uh, this pretty much will solve your dust issue and this also should hopefully bring the temperatures down of your laptop and stop it from lagging as much. Uh, point five, you can obviously reset your game to default by removing the d3prefs.txt prefs, d3prefs.txt file found in the Diablo 3 folder, which is in the documents library. Test the game when Windows is in a selective startup. Link, of course, in the description below in how to shut down background applications. Like this, you can literally pinpoint which application is slowing your system down or using some of your internet that you're not really, you can't tell what the hell it is. So like this, you can selectively close down the applications on startup of your Windows and literally just run what you require for the actual game. This is a good way to actually pick off in case some application is starting to run for example if you might you, you may have had ironically that time a scheduled antivirus that ran exactly when you were playing your game so obviously your system is gonna lag so you know weird random stuff like this that pops in you know it may have happened once you know it may keep happening that you can't really pinpoint what it is you know it's weird random stuff like this that can help you pinpoint what the actual program is in case it is a program that is preventing your actual Diablo 3 game running smoothly point six so this being the final one your uh, graphic settings of course if your game keeps lagging after all the points that i just mentioned before and if you tried everything that i've mentioned before all you got to do is turn down your uh, graphics uh, down a notch i have an msi gt 683 dx laptop even at ma max settings the game starts to lag even my friend's monster de desktop build that he did make starts to lag, including other desktops as well that I've noticed. I found the best way to stop this from happening is to switch off completely shadows. Just the shadows part, you know, you have in the option settings in the game, you have shadows, just switch off completely the shadows of the actual game, and it substantially improves performance of the game and it stops it from lagging. Frankly, I don't care if I can't see shadows of the monsters, and uh, nor should you. But that usually does the, the trick for me but if that doesn't work for you then i guess you'll have to start turning down all the graphic settings down a bit until it actually stops the lag now in conclusion it seems that diablo really hasn't been made a very smooth compatible with the actual pc market uh, overall uh, the actual trend uh, with games that are also uh, concentrating on the console usually these games tend to have some issues either with one platform or the other so either if it's a console game trying to go for the pc or if it's a pc game trying to go for the console i noticed that most of these games that are trying to go for both these platforms there's always some performance issue with one of the platforms or the other so this might be due to that so the actual design of the game might have been also the core design is actually made in such a way that it's obviously compatible with the console again so this is obviously going to cause a little bit of issues in terms of uh, technical you can say uh, functionality of the actual game itself but uh, both cases after doing a lot of research and uh, testing diablo 3 it's uh, not a very stable game for the pc even the best uh, desktops that i've got my hands on do suffer lags once in a while Mainly, I found this, of course, due to temp spikes, uh, which, of course, occur rarely. I could run Diablo 3 with uh, full graphics settings with uh, no lag at all. When I stuck a fan under my actual laptop, it's pretty funny, so I'm going to just throw a pic right here. And um, so if you guys have one in the house, I would recommend you do that or uh, build a box around the actual fan and then just uh, stick the fan in. Now... Uh, that that really did the trick for me in terms of playing Diablo on the laptop. Uh, Diablo 3, of course, is a very demanding game requiring a good system and a good internet connection. And uh, if you don't use the fan under the actual laptop, is I would just suggest to switch off your shadows. And when I do switch off my shadows, even with, uh, I would say, a high-end laptop that I do have, 99% of my gameplay experience is uh, lag-free. Well, this is practically it for uh, this uh, customer support video. As always, uh, leave your comments down below. And in case you'd like me to do a video on any other issues that you may be having, also throw them down below. And of course, don't give it a thumbs up. And I really hope that this helped you out. And I hope you guys enjoy Diablo 3, hopefully lagless. Take care. Happy gaming.